guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a video that I plan on filming like forever ago, but it was one of those videos where I was kind of just like, oh my gosh, it's going to be like the longest video ever. So if you need a snack, I would definitely grab one. This one was suggested by my friend Kat, who actually went back and watched like a zillion of my videos to help me make my YouTube watch hours so I can stay in the partner program. So huge shout out to Kat. Thank you so much. You were so sweet for encouraging me to do that because I feel like I would have just let it go and then I would have instantly regretted it. So I owe a lot to her and I just want to say a huge thank you to her. But anyway, she was digging around in the depths of my archives and she found a video from the end of 2016 where I was doing my makeup empties and I had basically said in that video that we were going to be moving into our new house which is where I'm filming this video and I was like I'm not moving all of this trash into my new house so I was going through my makeup empties and I literally sat and watched this video and I listed to myself 62 freaking products that I decluttered or threw away or had used up so I thought what would be more fun than to go through all the products that were in my empties video from 2016 which I will link up in the cards in case you guys want to watch it. I'm actually not on screen in that video so if some of you like to watch videos without any people on screen you might enjoy it. It's pretty freaking long but if you don't want to do that I'm going to pop pictures. I got screenshots of everything that I threw away in that video so I'm going to like throw it up somewhere here so you guys know what I'm talking about. So without further blabbering let's get into this video because it's going to be a hundred years long. So the first item I talked about in that video is the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. Now you guys probably all know what the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner looks like. People used to talk about it on YouTube all the freaking time. I haven't really heard it mentioned much recently. It is I think one of those cult favorite products that everyone probably already knows about but nobody thinks to mention it but it's a great spot cleaner for your brushes. So if you have a small brush collection or you're a professional makeup artist and you need to quickly clean out your brushes between you know, using them on different people. I would totally recommend the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner and it is pretty freaking affordable and you can buy a giant size bottle on Sephora.com. So if you're interested and that sounds like a product you would want to use, I would recommend it. I've definitely repurchased it since and purchased it multiple times and it's definitely something I'm always going to have on hand in my makeup collection. The next thing I had mentioned was the Yuzu Cleansing Wipes. These are by Sephora brand and I really didn't like these because they really had a a, like a texture to them. I didn't feel like they did anything for me so I was really excited to get through it and get rid of it and I really don't think I'll be buying any cleansing wipes from Sephora anytime soon. I just like the blue ones by Neutrogena so I just stick to those plus they're super affordable because I get them at Costco. So next one is the Sephora brand Orchid face mask. Now I actually really like Sephora's face mask by the Sephora collection and they're like six bucks so if you're looking for a good sheet mask, actually all of their masks are really good. I use their foot mask. I've tried their overnight mask. They have a bunch of sets you can buy or you can buy them individually. I also saw they came out with hand masks. They have hair masks. You name it they have a freaking mask for it so I would recommend checking it out. Also I'm going to talk really fast in this video so Hopefully you guys understand why. The next item I had featured is the Body Shop Seaweed Clarifying Toner. Now if you do keep up with my videos on a regular basis, you guys know I still use that toner. It's actually back there I believe somewhere and it's really good. I actually really have to have a toner in my makeup routine. I think it definitely cleanses my face and also puts some nutrients back into my face. So if you don't use a toner, I would 100% recommend adding one. You don't need to buy a really spendy one by like the rose one I have from Fresh that is like beyond overpriced but the ones by Body Shop are super affordable and you can usually always get them on sale so that's when I would do it. Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Lotion. I love Soap and Glory's body stuff. Smells really good. Everyone on YouTube will tell you that. So shower gel, body lotion, face wash, whatever you want from them. I would pick it up because that stuff smells really good and I feel like it hydrates my skin. I also had talked about the Righteous Body Butter which also smells amazing. So those are some of my go-to Soap and Glory products. I haven't really tried any of their makeup so I can't really tell you much about that but I have seen them stocked at Target now so if you've been dying to try it I would recommend. 
I also had mentioned the Sugar Fresh Lip Balm in the white packaging in my empties video and I really love Sugar uh, the Fresh Balms. Those are like my go-to. I live in a really cold climate so that one is a guaranteed way for me to cure my chapped lips and if you're looking for a good one, I would recommend. Maybelline Last Sensational is my favorite freaking mascara of all time. I talked about this in my makeup style tag video, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. But I love Maybelline mascaras. I'm totally a Maybelline mascara kind of girl, so that is that. I had also talked about the Eucalyptus Mint by Bath & Body Works, the shower gel. And I talked about how I don't like the smell of that product. I actually don't really buy anything from Bath & Body Works, like body care wise, like not the lotions, body shower gels, creams, I just don't care for those. I do really like their candles and I also buy their hand soaps because I think they smell really good. But as far as their body washes and stuff like that. I feel like they're super overpriced. So I've been passing on them and I feel like that's a good thing. I love the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I bought it during one of the VIB sales and it lasted me pretty well. I will not repurchase it because it was pretty spendy and I feel like, I don't know, it wasn't like the price didn't justify the quantity because it was very small. So I can't really afford to buy it again even though I have like Sunday Riley face oils. I feel like those are going to last me longer than the fresh rose cream did. But if you have a little extra, why not try it out? I think it was really, really good. I did toss out the Max Fix Plus in Cucumber. I'm so glad that they made all those scents permanent. It's so nice that you can buy like scented Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus. I mean, that product is like a total must have in my book. So now that you can get it, get it scented even better. Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is still not something I like. I just don't get what the hype is. I constantly hear people talking about it and I still don't freaking get why. So somebody has any ideas, let me know. I also tossed the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wash. I used to love First Aid Beauty, especially their Ultra Repair Cream. So I think I got the body wash in like a set that I had picked up during one of the VIB sales or Christmas time or something. And it was good, but it's not anything I would go out of my way to rebuy. Scent Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elis Elastin Elastic Moisturizer or something is what I wrote down. I remember that cream. Didn't really like it, didn't really know if it was for my face or my body or both. I pretty much threw the whole tub away because I wasn't using it and it was just cluttering up my shit, so I got rid of it. <laughs> I also had a little Tarte Rainforest of the Sea skincare set and I hated all three products in that set, so I never purchased the full sizes. I just wanted to try it out. I also had the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in that video and I thought it was good but it's definitely not my favorite mascara by L'Oreal. I really like their voluminous mascara that they make. I had the CoverGirl Mega Lash in there, not a fan. NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, I will never purchase that again. Rimmel Exaggerated Eyeliner, not a fan. NYX Brow Pencil, I'm not really a brow pencil kind of girl. Marc Jacobs Liner, I didn't really get on with that. I thought it was overpriced and it was just not very good. Lorac liner is pretty good for a felt tip liner, but I found plenty of dupes in the drugstore, so I don't plan on repurchasing it. Tardis clay liner was good, but I'm not really good with gel eyeliner, so I will not repurchase that. Benefit Their Real Mascara is okay. If I get it on a sale or somebody just gives me one, I'll get it, but I'm not going to buy it myself. L'Oreal Manga Mascara was my favorite. They discontinued it bastards the ones in the yellow containers was my favorite and it got discontinued so say la vie sephora foot masks i talk about those all the freaking time they're my favorite foot mask i don't really know that i've tried any other foot masks but i like the sephora foot mask because it's an extra bit of hydration for me because my feet get really really dry so if you want to treat yourself i would recommend laneige water bank mask i think i got that from like a target beauty box or something and it was okay it wasn't anything I would like freak out about earth therapeutics under eye recovery patches were pretty good again not something I would freak out about Sephora lotus and pearl mask again I love the Sephora face mask the sheet mask so I would 100% recommend checking those out Leaders Mediterranean Olive Brightening Mask. I didn't think it was anything to write home about. Beauty Blender Solid. I go through those all the time. It's my preferred way to clean all my beauty sponges. Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. Like I said, I used to love that stuff, but I don't use it anymore. I feel like it's a little bit too, 
I don't even know how to explain it. It's not that it's too hydrating. It's I just prefer my face oils right now, so I haven't repurchased it, but I think if you are just starting off in skincare and you want something that's affordable, that's going to work for you, especially in Fargo or any colder climate, I would 100% recommend that stuff. 9 to 5 Cleaning Lotion by Lush, not a fan. Did not enjoy, will not repurchase. Vegas Nay Eye Lure Lashes were fucking scary. They are so big on my eyeballs, I cannot wear them. So I won't be repurchasing. Glam Glow Gravity Mud, I do like it, but it's not my favorite Glam Glow mask. I would not sit, um, I would not repurchase that unless maybe in a different time when my skin changes and I need that extra tightness, maybe then I'll consider it, but for right now, I don't need it. ColourPop lipstick in the shade Frida. That was the collab with Coffee Break with Danny, so that was really the main reason why I bought it. But I don't really like the ColourPop lippy stick formula. I know a lot of people that have the lippy sticks, but uh, I've owned a few in my day, and most of them are not in my collection anymore. So take that for what you will. Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm assuming that was a foundation that I was using up. And uh, judging by the fact that I can't even remember what the fuck it was, I probably didn't care about it that much. Elf Cleaning Clots. Oh, the Elf Makeup Wipes. They're so good. I just picked up these ones. These are like their body cleaning wipe thingies that they came up with like their workout line. But those are so good. The $3 Elf Wipes are so good. I picked those up from a recommendation from Nicole from Young Wild and Polished and... It was a decent recommendation, plus they're three bucks, so if you're balling on a budget and you need some makeup wipes, I would 100% recommend the e.l.f. ones. Wash Ultra Band, thumbs down, not a fan of it. It's like a balmy face wash. It's really gross. It's like rubbing lard on your face. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that without being offensive. La Vanilla Coconut Deodorant. I was on this kick because everyone was talking about La Vanilla back in the day, and I was like, oh, I want all natural deodorant. It was gross. I still, I could spell myself and was just not a fan, so I'm gonna not repurchase that. Belief Bergamot Extract Toner. It was like a little kit, so I, it was a really small sample size. Didn't think anything of it, so I will not go out of my way to repurchase that. The Belief Aqua Balm is something that's always probably going to be in my collection because I just really like it, and it's not very heavy, so I think I might bring it out in the summertime, but if you're looking for a good face cream to purchase from Sephora, I would recommend it. Basquiat Clear Complexion Toner, not good at all. I just used it up and got rid of it, and I don't think they're cruelty-free, so I really don't want to buy anything from Basquiat if I don't need to. Origins Jinxing Line. I got this little sampler kit because I was so excited to try it, and everyone said how good it was, but uh, not a fan, so I will not repurchase and it's kind of turned me off on the brand Origins in general. So if you guys have any favorite products you think I should absolutely try, definitely let me know because, yeah, that ginseng line was such a turn off. I don't know. It was kind of a bummer. Oh, well. Um, number 46, you guys. Style Sexy Hair Heat Protectant. I like to have a good heat protectant, and I was a big fan of the Sexy Hair line. Plus, I just got it at my salon, so it was like whatever. But, again, not something I would go out of my way to repurchase. Glam Glow Youth Mud, good mask, but again, Super Mud is my favorite, so I will not repurchase. And then I had an empty jar of Super Mud, which is my favorite Glam Glow mask, and I think it's great if you have breakouts or you want to use it as a spa treatment. Mario Badescu Drying Lotion, which is also their spa treatment by Mario Badescu, obviously. I think it works for a lot of people. I personally don't break out as much as I used to. So I'm really thankful for that, but if I ever did have a breakout, I would either use the Glam Glow or the Mario Badescu um, drying lotion. So hopefully that helps. Peter Thomas Roth from Peeling Gel. Yep, I remember that. That's the one that comes in the silver tube. And I actually bought a full size, which I like literally regret so, so much because I don't like using it. I think I saw Nicole Guerrero talk about it in a favorites video and I was like, Oh my god, I ain't telling me that. So I freaking bought it and it's not good. Like, it's okay, but it's like, mm, is it just like Elmer's that I'm rubbing on my face? It's, okay, so the, the, I should prephrase this. So the firm peeling gel is like this face wash that you put on your face when it's dry and you rub it and it you see like your skin flecks coming off which I don't understand the science behind it so I don't know if it's actual like flecks of your skin 
peeling or if it's just like they, you know, engineered this stuff to like pill. So I'm not sure, but if you guys are like estheticians, let me know if it's actual science or if it's just like a trick product that we convince ourselves work. ABH Brow Gel, I love that stuff. I will continue to repurchase. NARS Coral and Pour Eye Duo, that was like my go-to in college. I finally decluttered it because I was never using it in my collection. I do love NARS's duos, but I'll just never buy them because they're so, so overpriced. If you are into minimal makeup and you just want like two shades that'll just work anytime, I would totally recommend that duo or any of their other duos because they're just so simple and easy, but I won't repurchase them. Feline Mascara by L'Oreal, literally don't remember, don't care. Rimmel, Provocalypse, eh. Milani Foundation is a total win. I feel like it is an awesome full coverage foundation for the drugstore. So if you're balling on a budget and you only want to spend $10 on foundation, I would totally recommend it. Um, Clinique All About Eyes Concealer was not good. It was very, very thick and gunky, so I would not recommend it for a makeup beginner. Drunk Elephant Lippy was gross. I literally have the puke emoji next to it because I thought it was totally pointless and even though it's the most affordable thing that Drunk Elephant makes, I still wouldn't buy it because I think it's really gross. Uh, NYX Blush Beach Babe, oh my gosh, I was obsessed with that blush. I used to use it as a bronzer because it had a beautiful sheen to it. And I would honestly repurchase that. It's just that I don't really need it in my collection right now, so I'm not gonna buy it, but it is a damn good blush. Color Tattoo by Maybelline, literally don't remember. Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel. This was like a sample pack that I got from Sephora. And I've seen so many people talk about Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel, and I really didn't think it made a huge difference on my skin. So maybe if you have more problematic skin, it'll work really well for you. But for me, it was eh. Paracone MD Blue Plasma Cleansing Treatment. That was a Kathleen Lights made me buy it. I'm pretty sure she mentioned it in a video and I was like, of course I need that. And I'm pretty sure I was like at the end of college or still in college when I bought it. So it was fucking pricey and it didn't do shit for my face. So I will not be buying that either. And then the last thing I talked about in that video is the Fresh Soy Cleanser, the face wash, and I still love it. Would repurchase, but Fresh is again not a cruelty-free brand, so I used up my big size that I had purchased, and I have a few samples, so once I use the samples, I'm just gonna try and find a different face wash that is cruelty-free. I'm not like 100% cruelty-free, but if I can find good dupes for things that I like from a cruelty-free brand, I'm definitely gonna try and do that. So if you have any face wash recommendations, let me know in the comments. Thank you for suffering through this long video with me. I hope it was informative. If you guys want me to do any other revisited videos from the past, stuff that you just want my opinion on, definitely, definitely leave me a comment down below. I do read all my comments, so I would love to help you guys out. Also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me and I don't want you to miss out on anything here at Karen Harris Makeup. But I'm gonna go guys, have a good one, bye.